Okay, a couple things. Two chains featuring Lil Wayne E40, $2 bill. This video came out on April 10th. Then after this video came out, they put out a lyric video, um, which is kind of unusual. I mean, it seems like often the lyric videos come out first. So this one actually came out afterwards on June 17th. So it was what, April 10th and June 17th. This version of the video is sort of like this, almost like a freak show kind of thing. And certain people in here look familiar to me. And this woman looks to me um, like the woman who was selling Chris's heroin. Um, so that is significant because um, in this video, the, the refrain is I'm rare, like a $2 bill. But in this version of the video, they're showing a lot of like bloody stakes when they say I'm rare. And in particular, you keep getting this repeated image of her looking at this guy holding a bloody stake. So I don't really know exactly, you know, what's going on here, but it seems to confirm what I suspected, you know, which is that there's more here than meets the eye as far as um you know this is her okay um in real life um there's more here than meets the eye this is not just like your average just heroin dealer that's been and the fact that you know this name ivory comes up over in lyrics in other ways um there's more here than meets the eye. This isn't just an average drug dealer selling drugs to Chris. So I mentioned in another video, I said that, you know, he noticed things changing with the drugs. Now there's a siren going on outside. So I think this woman is definitely being protected by police and or the medical system and the drugs that are being supplied to her are being supplied by people who are powerful, who are linked to the federal government, who are um, actually been trying to assassinate Chris. Um, so Chris noticed it appeared that the consist the chemical makeup of his drugs were changing over time, like, you know, and um, he wondered if there had been fentanyl in it. Now, interestingly, he went and had them te tested for fentanyl and got an inclusive conclusive result. Now, I'm not sure I believe that that result was really inconclusive. And by the way, there could be more than just fentanyl going on in here. There could be other stuff. These people are very sophisticated, a lot of, a lot of sophisticated backroom medical stuff going on that, you know, you don't even know what they know how to do. So who the hell knows what's, you know, plus they've been doing these um, directed energy attacks on us both. But once, if you're opiated, you know, to the point where Chris has been opiated, you might not even notice, you know, stuff that's happening to you, even when it otherwise might be noticeable. So, um, I decided to take it upon myself because he, when he went into the hospital, he left behind, you know, I went and cleaned out all the old, um, syringes and stuff, but he left behind one syringe that was loaded and ready to go. So I, um, ordered some fentanyl test strips from this place called Dance Safe. They're um, very inexpensive if you just buy a couple at a time. So I would recommend doing that because you can, if you, you know, have some reason that you need to test drugs. Um, rather than, especially if you're in a situation like we're in where you can't trust the medical establishment, you can't trust anybody to actually tell you the truth, do it yourself. So according to this, if you just get one red stripe, that's positive for fentanyl. Two red lines is negative for fentanyl. And I did this test about, um, you know, half an hour ago. And I feel it's a very strong red line. Now, as time has gone by, a very, very, very slight, you know, could almost see a very slight second line showing up. But, um, it's not at all, to me, like the negative look, you know. Yeah, that has a slightly lighter red line for the negative. Um, but this, to me, looks like a strong positive. So they were putting fentanyl and who knows what else in the heroin they were selling him. And like I said, I think this woman works for somebody else more powerful. And, um, I think this has just been part of an ongoing assassination attempt against Chris.
along with the forced relapses, they've been tainting his drugs and attacking him with directed energy weapons to the heart.